We've got Dr Dawn and Beverly Turner. Uh, they're back as we take your calls on whether schools should ban parents writing PE lesson sick notes. Uh, we'll go to our first caller. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hello, hello. Hi. Yeah, I was just saying, you think that the, um, the participation should be tailored to the individual child? Yes, that's right, yes. My son um, is 11, he's got hypermobility and he absolutely hates PE. He um, goes into school and he regularly comes home with achy legs. He's up during the night with achy legs and I don't think that's a case of saying no sick notes because some days are better than others. Um, dependent upon the weather as well. And I don't think it's simple as if you're in school, you're seen to be okay, well enough to do PE because obviously there are children that have a disability that isn't visual to the eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, OK, okay. And, uh, good point. And I believe, you know, it puts extra pressure upon not just the NHS but also the teachers because if they're being told from one angle not to allow your child, you know, to, if they're in that school, they've got to do PE. Yeah. But yeah. on the other angle, they're being told by the parent, actually, my son's got hypermobility, he can't do what everyone else is doing. OK, sure. all right, let's... Uh, let's just Pain is always a difficult one because... I can't put a needle in your arm and say, right, you've got pain factor 10. Uh, we have to listen to the individual. Um, hypermobility itself, so basically it's what you might also refer to it as double jointedness. You see people who are very, very flexible. Um, and that can predispose to achy joints, but equally it can mean that you're really good at things like gymnastics um, because you've got that flexibility. Mm. Uh, so I, I hear what you're saying, Sarah, about if a child is in pain, then they shouldn't, they, they, they shouldn't be forced to exercise. But we must make sure that we are encouraging kids to be as active as possible. And to say, for example, your son should be excluded from PE or excused from doing PE would not be in his best interests in his long-term health. I think that's where we're coming from. Mm. I also think that actually there are children who, and I'm not saying that your son falls into this category, but they don't realise that having stiff legs from doing a run the day before means they're not ill like they think that's my legs are sore because i went running well that's your muscles getting stronger and i think that often today children can be frightened of that sort of strain because they think they're they're, they're that's injured wrong, yeah. that's not you're meant to feel like that if you've done a good run you're meant yeah. to be in pain mm. <laughs> Uh, as I said, he does have hypermobility, so there are yeah. other medical issues yeah. there as well. But fascinating. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank indeed. you both very much.